Hi, I'm Pastor Kim Pillmore, and I'll be your training host this evening during this segment of Back to the Basics on Health and Healing. My, uh, my segment is called, Are You Qualified? Are you qualified? So in this next set of lessons, we're going to review God's original plan for man's health. And we're going to take a look at it in the Old Testament. And throughout this study, we will see that God's promise and provision for healing are given to the children of Israel, as well as to the believers in the body of Christ. However, in studying the, the Old Testament scriptures, you know, you might wonder, were these promises for health and healing, were those only for the Jews? You know, do they apply to me uh, under the new covenant? And here's a, a you know, we're going to take a look at that. But before we go any further in our study, let's address it. You know, many New Testament believers don't know what to do with the Old Testament. They're like, tilt, what? <laughs> you know, and, and they think, it's just a historical book or a book of types and shadows of the coming Messiah, right? That's <laughs> what they think, right? Is it relevant to New Testament believers? And also, how much of this Old Covenant really applies to us? You know? And also this other question, you know what, if God revealed himself as a healer under the Old Testament, has he changed his mind under the New Testament or the New Covenant? Well, let's answer these um, questions with two basic, um, two basic answers. So we're going to look at, in God's eyes, who are Jews? And we're going to look at, in God's eyes, who is Israel? All right, so let's take a look at Romans 2, 28 through 29. And it says, for you are not a true Jew just because you were born of Jewish parents or because you have gone through the ceremony of circumcision. No, a true Jew is one whose heart is right with God and true circumcision is not merely obeying the letter of the law. Rather, it is a change of heart produced by the Spirit and a person with a changed heart seeks praise from God, not from people. All right? So, according to this verse... Who does God really consider a true Jew? You know? So we find um, that New Testament believers are called true or spiritual Jews here. You know, the, the true Jew, spiritually speaking, is one whose heart is right with God according to the scriptures. And therefore, guess what? We would qualify for the blessings given that we're spiritual Jews, right? So by that we mean, you know, a lot of times we have to be able to discern when the references in the Bible are talking about the natural Jews or those who are physical um, descendants of Abraham and or are we talking about spiritual Jews, those who are spiritual descendants of Abraham through Jesus Christ, all right? So we find that there's so many promises in the Old Testament for both the physical as well as the spiritual descendants of Abraham. Let's take a look at Galatians 6, 15 and 16. It says it doesn't matter. Real, I like that. It doesn't matter whether we have been circumcised or not. You know, the Jews had to, had to be circumcised. You know, they had in the letter of the law and that men had to do that. So they had been circumcised or not. What counts is whether we have been transformed into a new creation. May God's peace and mercy be upon all who live by this principle. They are the new people of God. I like that. 
They are the true people of God. You know what? And as new creatures, we are basically called the Israel of God and therefore are qualified for God's promise to Israel. Isn't that exciting news? What Jesus has done for us? Let's take a look at Hebrews 8, 6. It says, but now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood for he is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with God based on better promises so we have a better covenant and we have better promises than what we see in the old testament which is awesome or under the old covenant all right so if the New Testament or New Covenant is a better covenant based upon better promises, then we can be assured that if the Old Covenant promised and provided divine health and healing for the Jews, then our better covenant and our better promises would at the very least provide the same promises for divine health and healing. Amen? Isn't that exciting? So, let's take some time and, and look at God's original plan for man's health as described in the Old Testament. And we'll take a look at that in our next few lessons. And remember, we have a new covenant, a better covenant on better promises. And in our next lesson, we will look at how God created mankind without sickness and disease. This concludes this lesson on back to the basics on health and healing. Um, I'm Pastor Kim Pilmore, and thanks so much for watching.